So guys, let's take a walk. Let's go to downtown area. By the way, this is where the French embassy located. As you can see in the sign and their flags, that is where the French embassy. So let's go. We are going towards the city center of Reykjavik. Right here, you can find restaurant, resto bars, and also you can just walk by to the nearest uh, parliament or government uh, offices here in Iceland. This is the downtown area where you can find hotels, restaurants, resto bars and also the uh, tourist information if you need something to know regarding here in Iceland today is the uh, celebration of 17th of June or Independence Day here in Iceland as you can see there are so many people locals and also tourists walking or wandering around here in downtown area and this one is a courthouse that building there and that one is the old uh, landmark here in downtown so Let's cross the street, guys. Today, most of the roads are closed because of the holiday or Independence Day. So, as you can see, there's no cars driving through in this area. So, let's cross the street and walk towards another landmark here in Reykjavik. By the way, if you haven't subscribed in my YouTube channel, Miss Bryce 65 Vlog, please subscribe and share, comment on my video because it will help me a lot to grow my channel and to create more content. So we are here now in this, uh, well, this is also walking street and that one is built in 1892 which is they make it a restaurant here is uh, mostly tourists and locals walking by and this is the street Ingolstraite which is very popular when you are going to downtown area because this is located to most restaurants and also shop, shopping street that you can find here in downtown Reykjavik as you can see this is the Sabiner uh, store you can find Icelandic product in this store so let's walk i'm going to show you again this is look at that guys there's so many people today and well i'm walking by myself let's walk in this rainbow colors of street belt well they painted it many years ago and that towards that street you will find the landmark of Halsgrim Kirkja it's a Lutheran church guys perhaps if you visit here or travel here in Iceland probably you want to drop by in this landmark here so I'm sure you showing you another street that you can just stroll around this is very easy to walk if you are just
close by in this area. I mean, if you uh, book a hotel nearby, you can find restaurant here. And here it is, coffee shop and restaurant as well. Now, let me bring you to the church, the Lutheran church that I was mentioning a while ago. It means Halsgrim Kirkia. It's a cathedral of Lutheran church. Look at that, that building there towards us. If you see, if you can see that, that is where we're going. See, Hals Grim Kierkia. I find it a little bit difficult to pronounce it. So, well, bear it with me because I am not also good in saying Icelandic words. Even though I've been here for such a long time, if you may ask me. So this is, this is it, guys. This is a Lutheran church and besides is a technical school where I was when I studied Icelandic during those times. And so here we are. showing you around by the way uh, Iceland is just a small city you can roam around only for probably the most two hours you know so that is called Halsgrim Kirkja that pointed building there it's a church of Lutheran so guys thank you for watching in my youtube channel again my name is Brindis and please continue watching and support my channel have a nice day and I hope you enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up if you like this and if you find it informative that would be a great pleasure of mine that I was able to share with you this info guys have a nice day and you guys take care bye to all my subscribers out there who's going to watch this video and my viewers shout out to all of you thank you very very much for your support bye you guys take care and please continue support my channel bye hi hi Thank you.